The National Liberation Front Greek, Ethnico Apolutherotico Metopo translate. Ethnico Apeleftheritiko Metopo, commonly known by its acronym EME, was one of the many movements of the Greek resistance during the Axis occupation of Greece. Its main driving force was the Communist Party of Greece KKE, but its membership throughout the occupation included many other leftist and republican groups. Its military wing, the Greek People's Liberation Army ELAS, quickly grew into the largest armed guerrilla force in the country, and the only one with nationwide presence. At the same time, from late 1943 onwards, the political enmity between EME and rival resistance groups from the centre and right evolved into a virtual civil war, while its relationship with the British and the British-backed Greek government in exile was characterised by mutual mistrust, leading EME to establish its own government, the Political Committee of National Liberation, in the areas it had liberated in spring 1944. Tensions were resolved provisionally in the Lebanon Conference in May 1944, when EME agreed to enter the Greek government in exile under Georgios Papandreou. The organization reached its peak after liberation in late 1944, when it controlled most of the country, before suffering a catastrophic military defeat against the British and the government forces in the Decamvriana clashes. This marked the beginning of its gradual decline, the disarmament of ELAS, and the open persecution of its members during the White Terror, leading eventually to the outbreak of the Greek Civil War. Topic <inaudible> Background During the Metaxas regime, the Communist Party of Greece (KKE) was outlawed and its members persecuted. Its hierarchy and organization suffered heavy blows from Metaxas' efficient security forces, and more than 2,000 communists were imprisoned or sent to internal exile. With the German invasion and occupation of the country in April to May 1941, several hundred members were able to escape and flee to the underground. Their first task was to reform the party, along with subsidiary groups like the National Solidarity Ethniki Alalenga EA Welfare Organization May 28. After the German attack on the Soviet Union on the 22nd of June and the break of the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, the newly reconstituted Communist Party found itself firmly on the anti-Axis camp, a line confirmed by the party's sixth plenum during 1-3 July. The Communists were committed to a «popular front» tactic, and tried to engage other parties from the left and the center, including established pre-war politicians. However, the efforts proved largely fruitless. On 16 July, however, the National Workers' Liberation Front Ethnico Ergotico Apolutherotico Metopo EM was established, bringing the country's labor union organizations together. Establishment At the K's 7th plenum, the establishment of EME was decided despite the refusal of mainstream politicians to participate. EME was founded on 27 September 1941 by representatives of four left-wing parties, Lefteris Apostolou for the K, Christos Chomenidis for the Socialist Party of Greece SKE, Ilias Suramokos for the Union of People's Democracy ELD, and Apostolos Vogiazis for the Agricultural Party of Greece, AK EME's charter called for the liberation of the nation from foreign yoke", and the "...guaranteeing of the Greek people's sovereign right to determine its form of government". At the same time, while the door was left open to cooperation with other parties, the K, with its large size in relation to its partners, assumed a clearly dominant position within the new movement. Furthermore, the K's well-organized structure and its experience with the conditions and necessities of underground struggle were crucial to EME's success. Georgios Santos was appointed as the acting leader, since Nikolaos Zakariadis, the K's proper leader, was interned in Dachau concentration camp. <laughs> <laughs> Expansion and preparation for armed struggle On 10 October, EAM published its manifesto and announced itself and its aims to the Greek people. During the autumn of 1941, its influence expanded throughout Greece, either through pre-existing communist cells or through the spontaneous actions of local people's committees. Following communist practice, EME took care to set up a refined system with which to engage and mobilize the mass of the people. 
EAN committees were thus established on a territorial and occupational basis, starting from the local village or neighborhood level and moving up, and subsidiary organizations were created, a youth movement, the United Panhellenic Organization of Youth, EPON, a trade union, the Workers' National Liberation Front, EAM, and a social welfare organization, National Solidarity, EAM's military wing, the Greek People's Liberation Army. ELAS was formed in December 1942, and a crude navy, the Greek People's Liberation Navy, Elon, was established later, but its strength and role were severely limited. <laughs> First Civil War and Mountain Government One of the great successes of EME was the mobilization against the plans of the Germans and the collaborationist government to send Greeks into forced labor in Germany. Public knowledge of the plans created a kind of pre-insurrectional atmosphere, which in February 1943 led to a mounting series of strikes in Athens, culminating in an EME organized demonstration on 5 March, which forced the collaborationist government to back down. In the event, only 16,000 Greeks went to Germany, representing 0.3% of the foreign labor force total. ELAS fought against German, Italian, and Bulgarian occupation forces as well as, by late 1943, anti communist rival organizations, the National Republican Greek League and the National and Social Liberation. It succeeded in destroying the latter entirely in April 1944. EME LAS activity resulted in the complete liberation of a large area of the mountainous Greek mainland from Axis control, where in March 1944, EME established a separate government, the Political Committee of National Liberation, PEEA. EME even carried out elections to the PEEA's parliament, the National Council. In April, for the first time in Greek electoral history, women were allowed to vote. In the elections, it is estimated that one million people voted. In the territories that it controlled, EME implemented its own political concept, known as Laukratia, Laukratia people's rule, based upon self-administration, involvement of new categories mainly women and youths and popular courts. At the same time, the mechanisms of the revolutionary order created by EME were often employed to eliminate political opponents. The position of EME, ELAS in occupied Greece was unique in several aspects, whereas the other two main resistance groups, the National Republican Greek League and National and Social Liberation as well as the various minor groupings, were regionally active and mostly military organizations centered on the persons of their leaders. EME was a true nationwide mass political movement that tried to enlist the support of all sections of the population. Although precise numbers do not exist, out of a total Greek population of 7.5 million, at its height in late 1944 EME numbered, from a low estimate of 500,000 to 750,000 according to Anthony Eden up to some 2 million according to EME itself members in its various affiliated organizations, including 50,000 to 85,000 men in ELAS. Although the poorer sections of society were naturally well represented, the movement included many of the pre-war elites as well, no fewer than 16 generals and over 1,500 officers of the army, 30 professors of the University of Athens and other institutions of higher education, as well as six bishops of the Church of Greece and many ordinary priests. <laughs> Liberation, Decemvriana and Road to Civil War After liberation in October 1944, the tensions between EME and anti-communist forces, which were supported by Britain, escalated. Originally, as agreed at the Lebanon Conference, EME participated in the government of national unity under George Papandreou with six ministers. Disagreements regarding the disarmament of ELAS and the formation of a national army made their ministers, on 1 December, resign. EME organized a demonstration in Athens on December 3, 1944 against British interference. The exact details of what happened have been debated ever since, but gendarmes opened fire on the crowd, resulting in 25 dead protesters including a six-year-old boy and 148 wounded. The clash escalated into a month-long conflict between ELAS and the British and Greek governmental forces, known as the December Events, Decemvriana, which resulted in a government victory. 
In February, the Varkiza Agreement was signed, leading to the disbandment of ELAS. In April, the SKE and ELD parties left EAM. EAM was not dissolved but was now for all intents and purposes merely an expression of the K. During the 1945–1946 period, a conservative terror campaign the White Terror was launched against EAM K supporters. The country became polarized, eventually leading to the outbreak of the Greek Civil War in March 1946, which lasted until 1949. Aftermath In its aftermath, and in the context of the Cold War, K was outlawed, and EAM, ELAS vilified as an attempt at communist takeover and accused of various crimes against political rivals. The issue remains a highly controversial subject. With the coming of the socialist Andreas Papandreou to power in 1981, however, EAM was recognized as a resistance movement and organization as were already recognized other resistance organizations by the previous conservative governments and the fighters of ELAS were honored and given state pensions. Notable members Some notable members political, not fighters of ELAS included Dimitris Glinos Yanis Ioannidis politician, Dimitris Partsolidis Ioannis Posolidis Nikos Plumpidis Miltiadis Porphyrogenis Petros Kakalis Georgios Santos Alexandros Svolos Maria Svolu Yanis Zevgos <laughs>